Ah, and Empire Wrestling fans. I'm back with a new friend of mine, Jordan. Of course, I've got a wealth, he's got a wealth of wrestling knowledge. I have a huge amount of respect for this man. He knows all the ins and outs of the Empire. Tonight, he's been enjoying the action of the Summer Blast here tonight. We've seen Rico come back from, you know, obviously WWE superstar. And I can't help but notice this T-shirt that you've got around your neck that you just purchased. Would you share with the audience what this is? Oh, well, sure, my brother. Uh, well, first of all, um, this is a brand new shirt from uh, one of the solution, the Grand Antonio Rivers. It's sitting right over there. Okay. Cash, Venmo, and uh, and uh, Zell for okay. 25, 25 bucks, all sizes. This is from uh, the Solution, Antonio Rivers. Get his shirt now. Yeah, Solution, Antonio Rivers, as we all know, a member of the Pipeline, one of the hottest factions, pump one of the Pump Line, one of the hottest factions in all of Southern California, perhaps even in the entire wrestling world, as far as many people are concerned. But let's let's t let's move, let's switch gears. Let's talk about the Battle Royal tonight. Tell well, us over your thoughts. Who's going to win? Well, first of all, I'm going to just say I, I want to check and you make sure my friend is okay because I saw what happened last time between you and Hector. He was kind of you know, doing me being, being Hector. Oh. I, want me, I want to make sure you're okay. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I, I managed to deal with that. I, I, I worked that out of my system in my mind. Yeah, it was very traumatic at the time. But, yeah, we worked through that. But the Battle Royal, I mean, come on, man. This is the EWF. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. Yeah. We, we see some great uh, fans taking a picture with the Russians probably in the Battle Royal right now. We see out of the Alan Bree, former world champion, former former uh, Battle Royal winner. We see my best friend, Michael Badwolf, you know, being him, longest running American champion. We see the Trailer King. We're going to see, uh, we gonna see uh, um, Hector. We're going to see the, the great Molina. We're going to see the intelligent, good-looking, um, Brilliance of Jack Fancy, and we go see the SoCal legend, the five five time five time EWF World Champion, Brandon Gaffs in that battle royal. So I can't tell you who's gonna win, yeah. but I will. But I will say this much: I hate to be the I hate to be the the the, um, the little jerk in this, but my whole wrestling predictions were were correct so far. As a matter of fact, you see, today for the WWE and Clash of the Castle, yeah. I predicted that. Drew McIntyre would not leave his hometown, the world champion, because of CM Punk. And what happened? CM Punk got involved, and Dean Priest still world heavyweight champion. Yeah, yeah. It's a tragedy because I do believe he should have been world champion. Obviously, you know, Drew's a tremendous talent. But uh, coming back to tonight, we want to thank you for your insights into everyone involved in that battle royal. It's going to be happening a little bit later tonight. But Jordan, we want to thank you again, as always, sir, for being a guest. We appreciate you. God bless you, brother. God bless the EWF. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for the great, great opportunity. And stay blessed, everybody. Amen. Thank you. God bless.